All right, today we're at Blackwell. We're gonna see what pops today. It's very, very windy. Temperature's 86. Uh, this is in, I think, DuPage County. Boats on trailers only, kayaks on canoes unloading to the left. It's a really nice uh, area to go fishing, actually. I wonder what side do I want to try? Do I want to try over there in the cove first or try this way? Let's go take you for a walk. I think I brought the wrong shoes. Got some little bass here and there. I myself, I like to sight fish for the most part. I'll look for the bass, cast out, see what I can get. Let's see what we can get over here, guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that was a bad cast. Let's see how aggressive these bass are. Yeah, our bait's a little too big. But that's all right. You see the bass in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Biggest thing you got to worry about over here is the poison ivy. That's a really nice looking small bass. You can throw a rubber worm on and probably just annihilate it on the way back. There's a bobber. Water's down. Nothing's bedding. Here's some bluegills are bedding right there. You can see that. I don't know if you can see it well on the camera, guys. We're going to come over here because there's always a bass chilling in this area. A little bitty fish over there. This is a real popular area. If you got kids, you can do some trout fishing. A little bit. There's a lot of big fish in here. Normally people do some trout. Water's still clear, but it's murky also. So we're going to set up over here somewhere. Actually, let's, let's take advantage of this and let's try to get towards the end. Work our way back. That's a nice little spot right here. There's going to be some bass chilling in there saying, hey, I don't know why I wasn't showing you guys. I like to stop here when I'm in this area visiting friends. Sometimes there's some monster bass on the edge. You just gotta kind of look. Beautiful though. This water's gonna clear up, but it's supposed to rain today. See a lot of little tracks going down. I just have slides on, so I'm kind of screwed. A lot of people come to this spot and do some uh, bass fishing. Let's just fill this out. Hopefully my stomach doesn't scare y'all. Yes, I hear you. 
that little perch is going after this. Catch that little guy. We got this. He's feisty and you know it. So these kind of guys, we need some. Oh, we need a basic setup. Grab yourself a worm and a hook. With a musky pole. Got to rip the top off. Try to just grab one. Take the hook. I like motor oil brown. It's my favorite. My son's got my other. Oh no, I got a half of one in there. My son's got my other stuff. All right, guys, watch me catch fish real quick. Hopefully that little perch is still in there because that little guy was ferocious, man. Oh, sorry, guys. Hopefully that worked. Alright, we lose that little perch. Here it comes. So, we're having difficulties, so we're going to do that. Check out this beautiful little guy, guys. Come here. Beautiful coloring on him. Picture of this guy. Go cast them back out there. 
That was a beautiful fish, guys. All right, let's try to catch some bass then since we're here. Thank goodness I was able to get that for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna show you all the bass that are in here. There's a lot of bass. Should have grabbed the other pole, huh? All right, so this is how easy it is to catch a bass. You cast it. Kind of pull it. I think catching that other fish may be an easy All right, so let's cast that and see what we get, guys. We're on a mission too though, so let's be smart. So let's throw this puppy in there. Get that in there. We got that in there. We don't need that. Let's grab the fanny pack. Let's start moving. If I see one, we'll get it. Oh, how did I, that happen? Yeah, crystal clear water. That was a nice, I think that was a perch. I'm pretty sure that was a perch. A lot of nice small bass in there. Right, no swimming. We got dragonflies galore here, I guess. Nice little spot. Weeds are up. It's a beautiful day today. I wish there was no wind. Also, thanks for checking out this video and watching everything. Hopefully you guys like it. I'm going to come here and actually uh, do some, uh, what do you call it? Kayaking soon. Alright, so let's throw this out there. Let's see what we can catch using a musky pole and a rubber worm. This musky rod is insane. A lot of dragonflies here, though. Technically, you should walk the strip. Hmm. But being so high up, you can literally look in there and see if there's any fish. So when you guys are sight fishing, you know, basically for bass. You just kind of walk around and you see a fish, cast. Come over to this spot. And we'll work our way back. It's a nice little spot. Let's see what we can get over here, huh? Right. My 
that leader is too heavy. It's dragging. All right, let's cast it out, see if we can get in the holes. There we go, that's pretty good. They're probably be going to sleep. Weedless is the way to go. Alright, let's figure this out, guys. How do we get down without getting poisoned? Alright, let's see. Oh, poison ivy. Just don't touch it. If you do touch it, don't itch. Oh! Ooh, we got a rock. Let's go stand on the rock. Don't got frogs. Got frogs and rocks. I haven't seen more frogs. A lot of nice dragonflies. I guess this is the spot right here, man. There's a rock. That means we're going to catch something right here. If there's a rock here, somebody knows something. We're going to see what's up. Beautiful day to take the kayak out. Look at that bedding right here. I was wondering what all that was. That's kind of cool. realize how shallow it is when the water is not up. Water is normally all the way up to about here. Well, as far as we can go. No action pull. It's almost high noon. These fish are like, dude. Oh, what a beautiful day. See all the crappie in there. Oh, there's a booger. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> 